Welcome to Sunday Club in the Stable. I'm Paul and this is Hannah. Hi friends, Miss Inye. Hope you're staying safe. Today we hear the next part of the story in Samuel and Samuel is back in the story. Yay! <laughs> These stories can teach us lots not only about what God's done in the past, but actually what God can do for us today. And we have got a little activity to help us to think about the story. So whilst you're doing our activity, you can think about the story that we've listened to. If you haven't listened, you can go back and listen to it in a minute. And then um, we can work out how it can help us today. So I have a craft idea for you. In the story, Samuel places some stones out as a way of helping the people to remember that God has brought them this far. And um, they're like reminder stones. A stone today in the story was called what, Paul? Ebenezer. That's right. Uh, so we are going to make our own Ebenezer sto stones. They were a way of reminding God's people what God had done for them in the past and that God was with them that day and that he was going to be with them for the rest of their lives. The Israelites do this quite a bit in the Bible. So I have made my stone here as an example. Here's one for you to look at when I made it earlier. Um, but I'm going to decorate another one for you to see how I did it. And then we are going to lay them out outside of the house um, and each stone will be like a marker of what we've seen God do. Now, we made and decorated stones a long time ago, so if you've still got them, it might be a good idea to get them out. You can decorate them in a way that helps you to remember today's story or maybe you could draw on them something that you know that God has done for you or a way that God has helped you. Okay, so here comes us decorating stones and laying them out. <laughs> remember that God is with us in whatever situation um, and we looked in our story at how God was with the people in the Old Testament and that Jesus was a picture of God being with us in the New Testament and even still then people didn't get that Jesus was with them all of the time and today Jesus is with us all of the time 
If we're happy. Jesus is there. If we're sad. Jesus is there. If we're in trouble. Jesus is there. If we're scared. Jesus is there. If we're alone. Jesus is there. If we've got the world's smallest problem. Jesus is there. Or the world's largest problem. Jesus is there. This is good stuff. It's worth remembering and it's worth sharing. At the end of our craft today, I'm just going to say a little prayer for us and then read a Bible verse which tells us what Jesus is like and it helps us to remember. So Jesus, thank you for the stories in the Bible and that they show us just how much you love us. Help us to remember that you are with us all of the time. Amen. Bible verse is from Matthew chapter 28 verse 20 and it says, I am with you always to the very end of the age. Maybe we could think about this question. How do you remember that Jesus is with you all the time? Thank you for joining Paul and I today for Sunday Club in a stable. If you like what you've seen, you know what to do. Give us a thumbs up in the bar below. And why not subscribe so you can get notified when we upload a new video. And for now, it's a bye from us and a virtual high five.